everybody on uh, to another Friday, another Real Talk series. Just a reminder, this video will be on YouTube, so subscribe, like, comment, hit the notification button, uh, you know, all that great stuff when you're watching YouTube videos. Uh, we're just going to keep the education coming uh, all summer and right into the fall. So, um, yeah, like our page, share with your friends, all that great stuff. Today, I thought that was a corona for a second, Mike, and I was like, it's 11.03, but they changed it. It's 9 o'clock now. That's it. So we could smash lines right now. It's man. like the soccer revolution. So I'm into sports and sports card trading and all this kind of stuff. And it's like people keep talking about soccer all of a sudden. Like, you know, we're European descendants. So you're like, what do you mean you don't know about soccer? And it's exploding. That's why they, they you know, nine o'clock. It's because, you know, for soccer games, right? They're first thing in the morning. We need our pints. Um, thanks again for coming back this week. I'm yeah, super absolutely. stoked. We're going to have a little bit of a shorter, maybe we'll see. We can get, we can yap forever. I'm, I'm a good talker. Um, you're going to show us what is probably the coolest thing I think personally to date, um, that you guys have come out with through the iGuy technology. And that's the ability to host, um, and, and share, um, virtual, like right from your smartphone. So yeah. like talk about, excuse me, 2020. And we've been talking a lot through this last kind of 12 or 14 weeks about like the real estate space specifically. And like this, what COVID's done to like advance the digitization of the business, like things like fax machines all of a sudden become elite and, you know, having open houses all weekend and all this kind of stuff. Like the fact that I can sit here in my chair with my shirt tucked into my shorts, I'm lying, I have pants on, uh, and show like, I think it's up to a thousand people at a time, give or take. Oh, way uh, more. Oh, I think oh way thousand. more. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Um, so really that's nice. super exciting. Um, and, uh, you know, in, in our next, uh, uh, we'll give you a link later on at the end, Lucas, uh, our marketing manager is going to give you some more deets, but our next webinar in a couple of weeks, we're going to bring on a, an agent to actually give us, a some, some of their own sort of feedback and experience. So, um, Mike, before I let you do your thing, I'll do what I usually do. I'm going to just pop on some slides and I'll give just like, um, and this is short, I only have five slides. So I just give a really quick Cole's notes about, um, you know, virtual tours, virtual showings and, uh, and why we need them. That's great. And then I'm going to let you do your magic and blow everybody away. So excited. I've been using it because as you know, we do a lot of business tours. Yeah. And we're all about this bricks and mortar. Like, let's go. People want to get in front of them. And, um, and we've done a few of them. And um, it was amazing. I had somebody like literally off her chair the other day when I was like, hold on, let's look at this together. So anyway, I'll, uh, I'll stop and I'll get to the slides and I'll save the good stuff for you. So you got those, Mike? Yes. All right. Let's scroll full screen. All right. So virtual showings right from your smartphone. Now, just to start off, just and I'm, obviously we're paraphrasing. You Tablet, smartphone, um, shit, your smart TV for that matter. Anywhere you have a web connection, but obviously it's 2020. Uh, when a smartphone costs $1,500, you do all your stuff from your smartphone. So, um, and from a convenience point of view, you know, uh, what's better? So what's a virtual showing? Well, basically it's exactly uh, what it sounds like. You're, you're the ability to show a properly limitless in real time, virtually. Um, safe, easy, efficient. Uh, it allows you to show the home virtually to multiple people at once, allowing you to control exactly what to show clients efficiently and conveniently. So you're gonna see when Michael shows you, you're in control. So you literally have this captivated audience. They're listening to you because they're, 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 you know, their, their audio's dialed in through the tour or they're with you on a, on a conference call or whatever have you. And, uh, and you're walking them through the house, just like you were there. So, you know, way different than you're at the house and you're going live. Now you, you know, once we give you your, your eye guide, uh, we, we do a few more things. Costs for all this stuff are going to be very minimal when we launch it. Um, it's going to be mind blowing. The time we're going to save you, Michael will tell you when he reads these stats that say, oh, photos are the number one thing and then floor plans. I, I'm a big, obviously we're a big believers in that. That's why we went with, uh, with an eye guide camera over a Matterport camera way back when we started because we're really, we do believe the data. Um, now, all of a sudden, this whole 3D world, the next level. So we're really excited about that. Um, close to 50% of prospective buyers are either open or somewhat open to buying a house virtually. So like that's that right now, that's, that's um, from the Ontario Real Estate Association. I, um, I don't know if the source had the date. I really want to know, Lucas, if you can let me know. Uh, if it can't be today, we'll throw it in the email, the date of that stat, because I want to say that that number's doing this right now. Um, and more and more and more. And, and if, if we do experience um, another wave of COVID, 
um, in the fall, hmm, it's just going to be that much more where people are going to be a lot more uh, open. At the very least, they're going to be way more open to doing all their open houses from their couch. So this goes back to, um, I preached a lot about, you know, imagine um, your clients are sitting in your office and instead of having to take them out to 10 houses, we can virtually show them all these listings. Uh, and then you can, you know, get to that one if you really need to, you know, before they, before they sign the check, if, if you will. Um, five reasons to use virtual showings, showing multiple homes to multiple people at once. We provide clients all the information about a home in one spot. Hey, John, navigate. sorry to cut you off. I think, uh, I don't know if you're on the presentation slide. We're, we're still seeing the one slide virtual showings right from your smartphone. I don't oh, know. Uh, okay. So, um, sorry about that. I'm going to stop share and I'll go back. I appreciate that, Mike. I, uh, there, there we go. We good? Mike, is that good? Yes. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I had it open on two windows, but I was on the same slide. You didn't miss anything. You just missed You didn't miss me talking. So um, uh, basically, like I just said, I was just reading the slide. So 50% of prospective buyers are open to homes. Um, we show the potential homes before visiting in person. We're faster and, and smoother. Uh, you know, this is one of those COVID instances where my dog is barking because the landscapers are cutting the grass. So I'll close the window in a minute when I roll through the next slide, uh, just in advance. So how does it work? Mike's going to show you how it works. Um, really, 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 really simple. Like most of our technology, it's, it's, um, the cat's ass, as they say, like, it's just so easy designed, um, you know, a chimpanzee could do it very efficiently. So that, that excites me. Um, we share the virtual link with your clients. They're able to open it. They're able to follow you while you're showing. We can use any form of online communication to talk during the tour. Like we discussed, um, you'll have full control of the tour, not the client, you, um, not all of viewers, forget about the client. Like I said, you potentially could have hundreds or thousands, even uh, people watching these tours. Um, and the viewers can follow along as you walk through virtually and it's in real time. Mike's gonna show you a couple of examples. We're gonna show you an example where you're gonna just watch us through the Zoom link, kind of do this. So you'll see a little bit of a lag and then he's gonna show you a real time example where you're gonna get taken off of this window. Um, and, and I think you'll be pretty impressed and blown away with sort of how fast the transition is. A lot of people are thinking it's like, when you get a Dropbox link and you try to watch the video on Dropbox and it's all choppy because the bandwidth isn't there and you haven't downloaded it, we don't have any of the problems the way the, the technology is streaming um, uh, the, the product. So super exciting. Um, and then of course, there's a bunch of added benefits for virtual, uh, for virtual showings and tours. And I'm going to, you know, the number one thing is the time that it saves, not only for yourself, but for your clients, sellers and buyers. And, you know, time is something that you can't mine it or buy it or make it. So, uh, you know, anywhere we can save it, we're always ahead. Um, and, you know, virtual tours receive over 40% more clicks compared to those using images. And again, the way um, technology is moving, the way uh, Google and Facebook algorithms are changing, LinkedIn, all of these traditional web-based platforms that are now mobile are built, um, they want this content. They want you to be immersed in these spaces. They know a lot of people aren't leaving their homes right now. And they know, um, you know, they're in the business to make money. The more eyeballs they get to people, the more people spend on Google uh, advertising and so on and so forth. So their algorithms naturally, um, you know, this sort of stuff is like reviews. If you have 10 reviews and your competitor has 10 negative reviews, Google's gonna push to you before, uh, you know, before they push to them. Um, and it's a much, much, much better and smoother experience than traditional screen sharing, which, you know, we're going to show you. So, and then we're going to close off next week. Um, we're going to bring an agent on um, for some experiences using, using this stuff. We've evolved from the beginning of COVID. I was on, uh, I think, second week of April with a client. We did an Instagram live one evening um, because he was raving about how he used our iGuide platform to close a deal in the heat of, of COVID. And then this came out, which just takes it to the next level of ease of operation, because now we're not fighting with, with Zoom or GoToMeeting or, or Google. It's a direct link through our, uh, our tech provider. So um, pretty amazing stuff, um, really amazing stuff. So Mike, we're going to let you, um, I'm going to pass it over to Mike. Mike's going to take over, whatever you're doing there. We got sure, you back I'm here. It's all good. Up on my phone yeah, ready to go. So, so yeah, I, hey, I think. The, the, the nice thing about this, well, I mean, in Ontario, one thing that's, there's an advantage, I mean, through the MLS system, if you are, if your brokerage is using Broker Bay, this ties and integrates right into Broker Bay. So if you've got a bunch of homes that you're pulling up, 
uh, and you're walking people through it right directly through the MLS, you can tie that in and iGUIDE will function with those open houses or, or virtual showings rather. Uh, with Broker Bay, and that's that's exciting news for and because Broker Bay is such a big player in Ontario, that's really uh, a key thing for a lot of uh, agents and brokers that are already dealing with that or working with that. Um, however, let's say I mean the thing about what our technology does and what we're trying to do is to streamline the whole home buying process, make it easier, providing the information for your clients and for home buyers. Um, so that they can easily make decisions about purchasing a home, you know, sometimes sight unseen. I'm hearing story after story of people purchasing homes without even going into it. I used to hear about this before, but now the income of that has gone up significantly. So uh, again, it's just about streamlining the process. So it's communication and it's getting feedback. And I think this is a great tool for the real estate professional because now you can get some feedback Whereas sometimes if somebody's looking at a tour, you're not always necessarily getting that feedback directly or immediate. Uh, and so one of the one ways, you know, well, I want to sure. show this. Yeah. And it's just, sorry, when you, it, it works perfect, all that integration with Broker Bay, but at the same time has nothing to do with. So yeah. if you're an agent at your office, it doesn't have Broker Bay or you're an independent. You're, we're basically now giving you the ability to virtually showcase without having to have that great big. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's say how I understand it. I guess that's rhetorical. Maybe yeah. just educate. I'm a little bit basic when it comes to the broker based stuff. I'm a marketing guy. So, but I think that's how I understand it. If I want to be a real estate agent tomorrow and I want to go, I'm independent, John Amadol, the broker, and I'm just going to go do my own thing. I'm going to, you know, um, mm -hmm. all of a sudden this tool allows me to do what I couldn't do before without another service. Is that correct? Yeah. I so I it, Sorry, guys. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and so what this ties back to is, you know, just the ability to communicate, communicate with potential other agents, with uh, potentially with uh, buyers. And let's say, hey, hey I'm on the phone with you, John. I am, I'm having a quick call, John. And I'm good, yeah, we're good. So, and if I'm on a quick call, well, this is, the, we're gonna show this quick demo if John comes back. So if I'm on a quick call with you, John, you got your cell phone handy? Yeah, I'm ready to rock. All right, so I'm on a, uh, I'm having a quick call and I'm talking to John. I say, John, I think that you know you're you're another agent who has a potential client, or you're a potential buyer. Uh, you've called me up about a property that you know that I have the listing. You drove by, saw the sign. What I can quickly do is I can quickly go to that eye guide and I can create a virtual showing by hitting the share button. I hit a create a virtual showing. I go to the share button here. And John, because he just called me, uh, or I've called him, he's in my text message, text messages, or he was, there you go. So I hit John, I quickly send him a text. He's going to get a text with this iGUIDE link. This is awesome. So we're in the middle of a conversation. Hey, you're like, oh, wait, let me show you this. And like I say, you're going to show it in a real time screen share, but just real time. So yep. there's Mike. I get my text from Mike. I open my link. I'm already signed up, but you'll see it when it logs on. Well, you just have to type, just put your first initial. No, I'm already signed in, man. Perfect. We're good. Okay, great. Well, now I've got so my now tool. I can walk John through this home. I'm like, John, you have to check out the view on this property. So awesome. Uh, and even with I this big lag, look how fast that is. You know, it's, it's crazy. Good. And now we're seeing a bit of lag, and that's more through Zoom, but you're not going to see that same lag. It'll be interesting on the Facebook Live. It's like 10 seconds. It's going to be like 2012. <laughs> yeah. But hey, it's real. upstairs, you know, you were asking about that okay. master bedroom. Can we fit in a, a king size bed? And, and I'm on the phone with you. We're shooting the shit. I'm sitting on my couch, my headset's on. And I'm like literally watching. You know, I can zap it to my TV if I want. Like anything like you would with any sort of Android Google. So um, and the big thing is you're going to give me feedback. Hey, you know yeah. what? Ah, uh, Yeah. I don't like those big sunny views. I don't want a balcony. I want to, I want to walk out on a pool or whatever it is, but so you can give I, me that direct feedback. And if you're, if I'm the agent and you're the buyer, awesome. Because I'm like, okay, well, hold on. Let me show you another one. Let me show yeah. you another, right? Exactly. Um, so, so now that's quick, easy. Now, if I'm an agent, so that's like a, me and you are shooting the shit or it's a one-on-one -on -one and I want to show you some stuff. Now, let's just say um, what I'm going to get you to walk us through now is let's say I'm in my office, I'm sitting here in my spaceship right now, okay? I got my two screens, I'm ready to rock, and I wanna broadcast, I'm gonna send an email out to my list and I'm gonna say, hey, I got this or I'm gonna plan it. So can you walk us through 
opening an eye guide, going through the showing, you do your thing, and then you're gonna post the link in the chat that our attendees are gonna go on. Lucas is gonna put it on the live, and then you're gonna just take a five minute tour through a home off on real time, and they're gonna actually see from start to finish how the whole process works. Exactly. So okay. I'll let you, you can go see my screen myself. virtual. Yeah, we're good. You're good to go. All right, perfect. So, you know, you open up an eye guide. Any eye guide, anybody can do a virtual showing right from it. Um, you know, I just want to show moving through this eye guide in terms of the same property right now. What you're going to see is a bit of a lag as I'm going through this property. I'm outside on the balcony, I jump back inside, uh, and I'm moving around up and down the stairs. And you're going to see a bit of a lag on that. And so it's great in terms of being able to get onto any kind of shared service. So over the phone, or I want to talk to you on a Zoom call, or I use Google Hangouts, I use, or Google Meet rather, uh, GoToMeeting, whatever technology that I'm using, this is enabling that. It's just about a simple way to have some basic walkthrough capabilities where you're in control of walking someone through that home, showing them exactly what you want to show them and what, they, what you want to see. You know, you think about, you get a new listing, you want to get a bunch of agents, um, you want to have a broker open house or an agent open house. You can have a quick, you know, set up a Zoom call, invite those key people that are interested in that area and maybe that home, and you can walk them through it. But instead of walking them through it on, on uh, something like this, on a Zoom call like this, where we're sharing the screen, what I'm going to show you is what you do is you go down to the share button. Uh, I'm just going to quickly pop back downstairs and just start over again. So what happens is I hit the share button and on here I can share it on my social media, but right at the bottom we have this new called create a virtual showing. You click on that create a virtual showing. What happens is a, a, a link comes up to start that virtual showing, gives you the instructions on how to do it. You basically, all you hit is that create a virtual showing. Now that I've created this virtual showing, I wanna share it with other people. What I do is, and what I'm going to see here is two icons at the top right hand corner. I'm going to see the people that are involved or who are in the tour and I'm going to be able to have a share button. It automatically copies the link for the virtual showing so I just hit close and now for example in this meeting I'm going to go into the zoom chat and I'm just going to paste the link. Did that come through John? Perfect. So what I like come you, through, yeah. Yeah. What I'd like you to do now is to log into that, click on that virtual showing link, that link that's in the chat. And then type in just your first initial, your first name. You don't have to log in. It's a quick and easy process. Hit enter and it'll show me you're joining in the meeting. So we've got a couple people uh jumped in so let's I'll just wait a second and let other people jump in so we get a few people in there Tony's joined the party here and we're going to have a few other people in here in a second so as that pops up Michael's joined and what now what this gives you the ability is to walk people through this property without that lag without that and they're going to see in real time specifically what it is that you're showing and as John alluded to, you could have up to a thousand people if you wanted on this. I think that the limit is, is something crazy, some crazy number of uh, people that you could have in here. So, all right. So now that I'm in the property and we have a few people in here and I don't know if everybody's signed up, but you can see as I'm walking through the property, I'm able to show exactly what it is that, um, you know, whatever I want to find or what I deem is important to show. All right, you got that. Okay, and so uh, hopefully we've got a few people. We've got a number of people in here now. So as I move around, and what you have to be conscientious of is that you're moving quite quickly. I'm moving back and forth quite quickly. You wanna take a little bit of your time as you're walking through the screen share to show them exactly what it is you really wanna say. Let's say if I jump out here to uh, the street to see what the yard yeah. looks like. I'm sorry, I'm cutting in because you said it earlier, you, you have unlimited people. So you're like giving the lowdown on how it works, but really like you could totally like, hi and welcome to 2506 Durant Way Laguna Beach. Like you could like literally have so much fun with this. Never mind yeah. the efficiencies, right? Like 
Absolutely. I mean, uh, John, you would be the perfect. You'd be the perfect agent to walk through someone through these tours because you'd you'd have music going and 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 have a little bit of a light show. I think that's ideally what you want, and it's really what you're doing is you're in control. That's the big thing is to say, hey, I really want you to admire this view and look at this this property. You know how you you wanted to say you wanted to have a nice open concept kitchen to living room and be able to still hide what you're doing behind the scenes, like check this out. You can, you can still hide that and you've got a separate dining room from it. So you don't have to worry that your kitchen and people are gonna see the mess when you're, uh, you have people over to um, you know, host and whatnot. Cause you're gonna notice that the dining room is a little bit a ways away here. It's separate, it's lower down. You still have that open feel, but yet you don't get to see the mess in your kitchen. You can still hide the mess and that was a big, concern for you because you have this open concept now and everybody sees the mess in your kitchen from your dining room and you like to host people and have those over so this was i thought a great factor but the bigger thing is when you're hosting people look at that view like can you beat that you're going to be out there enjoying that and one of the other criteria you had for a home or one of the nice things about this home is the ability to fit a king size bed in that in that uh, you know that master bedroom it's got a built-in fireplace, a balcony off of the side, uh, and, you know, tons of room where you can really expand and grow and share with your family. So I think everybody kind of gets the idea of it, uh, but the concept, it's quite simple. It's a communication tool. It's available ability to get that instant feedback. And now you can ask for comments. You could have a poll. So like you're doing right now in these Zoom calls, you know, you have a poll going on. You can have a poll set up ahead of time to really hit. What do you think of the living room? Do you like it, not like it? Is this home for you or whatever it is? You know, trying to get, you know, it's way that you set up some of these questions to make sure you get the feedback that you want. And now that's something that you have, information that you have to go back to the home seller and say, hey, this is what I'm hearing. They all hate the green carpet in the living room, you know, whatever it is. More and more data. Yeah, it's being able to get that feedback, again, on the phone one-on-one -on -one, or walking someone through or being able to have that efficiency of now you have a broker open house or an agent open house um, and you know, you, you've taken 20 agents through it, you've got that, you've marketed it, and bam, you're off to the next event that you need to do. You don't have to sit there all afternoon, you know, and you could get that feedback immediately when you set up some of these tools like the, uh, being able to do the surveys or even ask those questions uh, directly. So it's just a great communication tool. And, you know, it's simple. I, I you're, really, in the, you're, in the, you're in the bedroom. I've got it open on, on, on the other screen. Like, um, yeah. You know, so be like, it's yeah, like I'm watching you on the, I got you going. So I'm, I'm talking to you here and I've got it over there. And it's like, just real, like um, amazing. Now I noticed, um, Mike, um, I've got, so for anybody that's still watching on the other side, if you want to come back and get some questions for Mike, but you can leave that tour open and anybody that wants to kind of go back and forth. But so I noticed in the, in the tour now, um, I see, and obviously it's got to do with sort of the bandwidth and, and whatever have you to, to expedite, um, you know, there to be no lag, if you will, in the streaming of the tour. Um, um, oh, I'm going to throw this reminder out there that this video is going to be on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe, like, and comment and turn your notifications on because Mike and I are going to keep bringing you great value sort of um, on an ongoing basis for the rest of the year, at least. So um, do us a favor and share the love. Mike, I see on the tour, um, a lot of the uh, other functionality is turned off. So for example, the map, the photos. So this is um, strictly for um, a showing point of view. We wanna get into the nitty gritty. Um, anybody that's interested after you're gonna send them the iGuide report, your MLS listing. So just talk a little bit about exactly what's included and then what still sort of is available offline. Yeah, so it's, it's bare bones in terms of the virtual showing tool. And um, didn't want to make it too complicated. And we actually pivoted quite fast to, you know, get this out because of, of the demand. And we were getting asked for it in many different markets across right. the U.S., um, again, in Ontario. And so it just, it just was, it seemed like the right thing uh, to come out. The, the benefit of having a bare bones is now you get questions on, you know, can you tell me the room size of that? Can you, can you give me this information? Can you, can you tell me, you know, can I fit? 
uh, or whatever it is, or what's the total square footage of the property or whatever details that you have of the property, they have to come to you to ask you. So you've got that control there while you're doing that, that virtual showing in these conversations to ha now have a conversation. So you're it's almost like a qualifier. Like <clears throat> you're inviting all these people to your showings and then you're able to, to kind of quantify the, 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 you know, like I like to call them, I'm old school, but Glenn Gary leads, right? Like yeah. um, if I want to see room dimensions, if I want to see like, can you show me the picture of the basement? I'm probably a little bit more interested than just listening to you. Yeah, when you could take them through that, you could show them the basement, let them know, but they might have a quick question. And so those are questions that give you information that you can now give that feedback. You can have the eye guide open on a separate screen. So, yeah, right, you're, you're, if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, you have all that information readily available. <clears throat> if we're doing a group share, I'm, my, my motto is I'm always talking on here about the difference between selling and marketing. So it's like, what a great marketing tool to get people to your listing. The selling comes into like, hey, this is just a small taste. If you really want to get technical, let's go offline. Yeah. So I, I'm now I'm taking, a, now hold on, come on. I'm reinventing, we are reinventing this business as we go here. Like that's what you guys are doing. It's amazing like with guys like myself and my partner, Mike from Look Inside, just pushing it through because now all of a sudden it's like, think about it. I can generate leads from my house, throw it out to my email list. The link's live, it doesn't go anywhere. So now it's like, it's 2020. I send an email out, I send an Instagram that says, hey, my virtual showing is, forget about it's Friday, come see me next Thursday. It's like online in an hour, you gotta see this out. And they're like, because everything in today's world is right now, now and right now. So we, we're not waiting a week to go somewhere, like they want it now. So we have that ability to like throw it out there. And now I'm sitting back, having a glass of wine, waiting for my people to come. And I'm taking through my tour, I'm zipping around and I'm, I'm, I'm in complete control. So I don't have to answer any questions right now. It's purely a show and I'm generating leads and I'm taking appointments. So it's a virtual showing to take appointments for a virtual showing. Right? Hey. Now well, I and you group to like one-on-one. Right? -on -one. You put a 360 on your Facebook post and say, this is my new listing just coming on the market. Not even on MLS yet. Come on. I'm going to have a showing tomorrow night at yeah. SAC, right? You so get people like, in there. It's amazing. The Zoom link. I don't right. want to digress too much or I'm going to get, um, I got a coach that watches these calls. That's going to throw me an email in like 15 minutes. That's going to be like, whatever. But it's like a couple of weeks ago, we talked about the virtual staging and we have the ability with, with this technology and our virtual staging partners to take a house from drywall. So from drywall, how much longer from drywall till we're done. <clears throat> and for about 1500 bucks, we can take that house. That's an, that's now I'm talking about a 2,500 square foot, you know, we're going to virtually stage two floors of the house. We're going to edit the walls, put the paint in, and we're going to take a house from drywall to market inside of a week. So what's the ROI on that time? So everything you guys keep bringing to the table is easy for us with our service offerings, because all you're doing is we're coming out with these products that the price point is, it's like the value prop doesn't even make sense. It's so good. And, and it's just saving so much time. Well, now you were talking about marketing. Now I'm going to go back to the sales side. If you switch this from residential real estate into a business or a commercial business. We're doing tons of that right now. You no, know, where people are into, where they're, they're, they're engaging with your space. And I think we showed something like a, a kid's play center. Last yeah, daycare. Year. Now, hey, you get on the phone, you know, what's your place like, you know, right now? Yeah, we're not having people come in right now, but just because we're trying to keep the number of people come in. But here, I'm going to send you this link. Let me just walk you through the space so you can feel this is where your kids are going to eat lunch. This is where your kids are going to do it's this. Amazing. Like who so needs the best tr open house in that sense? Like not the real estate sense, but just the open house sense of the work. Uh, phenomenal. Do you mind if I share my screen quickly again? No, John? please go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got all so, the, your gold for this audience. Like, we even, love even like, this is great. Like one of um, the service providers out in Edmonton uh, captured the Rembrandt Museum that uh, was at the Alberta art gallery of Alberta. And I think I may have showed this last week as well, but you know, it's kind of a, they got this Rembrandt exhibit that came in just as things were shutting down. Right, right, yeah. And now I think they've had to pack it up and send it back. I, I don't know the exact timelines and dates, but there's a lot of people that really didn't have that ability to kind of go through and see this property uh, or see this, sorry, this art exhibit. And you got to think for Rembrandt, uh, you know, 
paintings that, that come in from Europe, that ability to see it, you know, such a shame, a little bit of a loss for people not to really go there and enjoy it. But now let's say if I'm a curator of the museum or a guide, hey, let's have a walkthrough of the Rembrandt uh, showing and I'm going to give you a guided tour and talk you, tell you about this painting, tell you, you know, why and when he did it and this was a self-portrait or whatever it was. But, but I mean, I can actually go into the tour here and actually read about it uh, if I wanted to know a little bit more of the, the timing and why it was. But it's just like a great way to take someone through that museum uh, and to share something that because of current circumstances in, in the world that we're in, they weren't able to share. And it was such a loss, such a shame for, you know, especially these art galleries and whatnot. So again, as a business tool for nonprofits, for profits, it's a way to show and share your space with people. Um, yeah, that's a great example of exactly what we were talking about. So these guys, I'm just ending the poll and I'm gonna just show the results. So you see, like, it's very new. Um, Three, no, I just ran it really quick. Five seconds, the first five people that answered, like 20% of us are actually using the tool, um, which, is, uh, which, is, uh, which is amazing. So um, that example, the Rembrandt Museum is awesome because they get this thing and, you know, again, you're not allowed to touch this stuff anyway. Um, you're, you know, the whole thing of being there and seeing it really, you saw it. Um, and, that, and that's what they could have done. They could have sold tickets literally to this virtual show, showing and had a curator sit here and walk through with a little headset on and walk through, like I think about art and I think about, this is a lovely museum piece, right? And you're walking through, like, so now we're monetizing the tool beyond that. And I wasn't even thinking about that. I, I just try to come on here and give more value to my clients. Hey, and to pull it back to real estate too, John, your buyer now has some questions about the house or wants to show you something. Well, they can just go to that chair, they can click on it and they can flip it to you. Vice versa, versa, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Reverse now chair. They have control and they can say, no, no, I want you to look at, tell me about this. And this is what I like or whatever it is. Okay, here's a question. It's, it's, right, it's from the eye guy. So the more shares, the better. So now if I'm the home seller, I'm selling my house. I'm excited. I want to show people. I can sit here and do the job for the agent because I want to show off my listing. I have access. I can go and invite all my friends. Hey, check out my house. You know anybody? And, and then I'm sending leads right to my agent. And I'm doing that from like, again, while the commercials are on in between golden buzzers. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah. And to that point, it's like, you know, it's the same thing that you're doing with when you're sharing it on social media, right? You're, you know, the first day you throw up a 360 of that beautiful kitchen to get tease people into that home. The next day you show a couple photos of like the living room and the view or whatever. The next day you actually post the eye guide post and get more views. Yeah. Into it. And just keep bolstering the views, getting more people to look at it and, and maybe even boosting it or, or advertising it in that geographic area. Just to get online sooner, like you said, like I don't, you know, what's the average time it takes to do an open house? We gotta get the listing signed. We gotta win the listing. We gotta get the listing signed. We gotta get the marketing done. We gotta get the MLS set up. We gotta put our signs up. We gotta go to market. No, we get the eye guide. Thirty six hours, you going to open house. Tip, basta, enough. That's like we have like stop, ding, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, share, comment, love us. How do we say we can't? That's it, Mike. Like we we have to be done right there on that sentiment because well, and your home sellers like every time they have to go through a, a walkthrough, someone has to go through the walkthrough, and they're like they're just tired. They hate it. Lucky lose, like they're just people wanted to. I'm just a neighbor and want to see their house. I'm not interested in buying it. Well, hey, like you kind of get rid of that. Yeah, I, the, the long term, like when we're looking at features and benefits, but like I mean, just the sort of immediate benefit, I think, from an ROI point of view, is yeah. I can have an open house in literally 36 hours. If we really like you or you pay a little bit extra, probably 24 hours. Like, no shit. That's the value prop for me. The rest is just pure, the benefit, like all those extra things are great value add. But time is money. It's like I said, it's like when I did this job for the builder for 1500 bucks, this unit's on market 90 days ahead of schedule. That's a great story. No brainer. If you yeah. have to think about that, then, you know, we have to have a whole other conversation about business. That's, Mike, that's You're the best, man. You keep bringing it, like bringing the heat. I love it. So we're going to take next week off because um, it's Canada Day. Good. 
I mean, on a Friday, I'm going to take Friday off, maybe. Um, and then the following week, we're going to come back on. You and I are going to talk about a few more of the new things. I think by then, our uh, dollhouse feature floor planner will be ready to go. But most importantly, um, I'm going to bring an agent on to, to talk about his, his experience. And I want you to hang out for that because I think it'll be really fun. fun. I'm going to bring in a, a top agent to, to – to, I think the Q&A between you guys will be great. It'll be hard for me to sit back and literally I'm going to talk for – eight of 45 minutes that's going to be challenging for me but the audience they get what they need and what they want and that's not more of me talking so um and then we're going to go on the road we're going to we're looking at um some other real estate boards the the john and mike traveling road show so stay tuned for that with our partners in the west end look inside and um, mike thanks again for coming online thanks for um, your ongoing support yourself and planetar thanks to my friend mike ferrick and look inside for keeping us going in the west end and Lucas from my office for making sure that uh, we had no technical difficulties this week and Facebook worked. And uh, I'm supposed to say this one more time at the end. They're editing all my videos. It's kind of fun. No F-bombs today, Mr. Fair. Um, like, subscribe, comment, and we'll get back to you. Mike and everybody else have a fantastic week. And you we'll too. see you guys in two weeks. Thank you for having me. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, thank you for your support. Cheers, guys. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Check out the Instagram, Johnny A. Picks. I got Mufasa, the Friday guy, coming up. Cheers. Mm -hmm.